through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 168. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're doing our DVD rundown for the week of July 10th. Mm-hmm. July, crazy. man. Yeah, flying, flying by. It's flying by. I know. But, where's the summer gone? Uh, kind of rough period for the theatrical movies. <laughs> Not super tremendous either for the, the yeah. DVD picks, but yeah. you know, there's a few gems to be polished in there. We can hope, right? We, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll try we'll and... wash some of the grit off of them for yes, you. Yes, exactly. We're here for you. The first film we're going to talk about is a film from this year, mm -hmm. uh, a series which I've been fond of yes. and spoken of in the yes. past. Yes, so we're have. talking about American Reunion. Mm -hmm. This is the fourth and possibly final chapter mm -hmm. in the American Pie saga. One hopes. Or not. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's a nice little release. It's got the Blu-ray, the DVD, digital copy, mm -hmm. and ultraviolet nice. all in one package. Your favorite. My favorite. Um... The DVD version has an audio commentary with the directors, John Hurwitz and Hayden Schlossberg, which is just being noted because they are the ones who create Harold and Kumar for uh, White yes. Castle. Okay. So they've had mixed results as directors, uh -huh, but Harold uh -huh. and Kumar go to White yeah. Castle is pretty awesome. So. Pretty fun. Yeah, um, you got a reunion featurette discussing you know, bringing everyone back to the series. Hmm. There's a featurette about Jim's dad, a.k.a. Eugene, Eugene Levy, Levy, which is a wonderful thing. As, as um, we know, you're a big fan of Eugene I, Levy I do as like, a dad. I do like Eugene Levy, yeah. He is a great dad. Mm -hmm. In terms of the Blu-ray, there's additional featurettes on there. You got extended scenes, alternate takes. You've got a, nice. a track where, let's see, Jason Big, Sean William Scott, Allison Hannigan, and other cast members pop up and laugh at various scenes and stuff within hmm. the movie. You got a, 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 a little featurette with Jason Biggs, who is actually a producer on the oh, film wow. and helped bring it all together. Uh, so it's a nice little package. You got a lot of stuff going on there. You have all the various mm -hmm. formats going for you. So yeah. pretty good package. Yeah. Uh, I would say probably my least favorite of the series mm. of the non well, yes, video Well, yes, obviously, player. of the but, ca canonical, yes. <laughs> true American but, five movies. Nevertheless, I still I still thought it was fairly enjoyable and fairly funny. Mm -hmm. They do outrageous Do they shock justify a reunion at least? Making yes. a reunion movie, not as much the reunion within the movie, but just to the at least, you know. I, I mean, it was really neat to sort of see everyone come back and go under that That's reunion, good. guys. That was That's pretty good. cool. And then I was a little bit underwhelmed by the whole other track of younger characters who they introduced mm. to the movie, but the reunion portion of gotcha. it, I'm all in on. They gotta get a new class. It's gonna be American Pie, the new class. Essentially, yeah. It's like Saved by the Bell. Mm -hmm. The next one we're going to talk about is the complete first season of Adventure Time. Ah, uh, yes. This is the series on, was it Cartoon Network? Yes. That, I mean, please do describe. Uh, I've, I've actually only seen very little of, of okay. Adventure Time, but there's plenty of randomness. Well, it's, it's essentially, you know, the... Adventures of like a boy and his dog. Yes, they go into these crazy little worlds mm -hmm. and they go on wild adventures. It's it's a fun little cartoon. You've seen it on like the sides of buses. Mm -hmm. Like it's everywhere, man. Yeah. It's it's yeah. probably one of the biggest breakout animated series yeah. in the last and year, to put it bluntly. Art style's pretty from uh I guess not iconic, but easy. I don't know. It's just it's, when, it's you, pretty you iconic. Know you, yeah, you know I mean, when you saw it. It's pretty unique. I guess is a good word I'm looking for. And yeah, I would you, say. When you saw the art style, you'd kind of recognize it. And you've probably seen it around, whether or not you know of the show or not. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the release, kind of underwhelming. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got a behind-the-scenes featurette filmed on Ward's cell phone, which I think is kind of a cool idea. Mm. That's kind of mm -hmm. a unique, interesting idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how so well... cell phone technology nowadays? Well, I mean animated feature whatever you know so yeah. but just like the idea of you know behind the scenes on a mm -hmm. cell phone of a dude <laughs> in cartoon it's kind of a cool idea yeah uh, you got several uh commentary and besides, yeah, besides that it's just commentary tracks i'm kind of surprised it took this long for like i i i, I mean i'm I should say I'm surprised that there's only one season of the show because with how proliferated I felt it's got. Well, you know, and that was sort of one of the things I was trying to figure out because there's a few other releases in various formats mm. around the world that, and I couldn't tell how many episodes exactly it is. I think it's hmm. at least mid twenties. Okay. In terms of how many episodes okay. it seemed like it was. Um, there's so, been a lot of like best of or weird compilation adventures yeah, that have minis like that. and stuff that have yeah, like half this. seasons collections yeah, or whatever, yeah. which is which is cool. But I mean, you know, I, I like that they. Have of like commentary tracks including guests like you know george sakai and other people mm, like that mm -hmm. 
No. So it, it's it's a fun show. Mm -hmm. The DVD release is decent. If you're really avid fan of it, I yeah. would definitely get it. Especially because it's the final. I mean, the complete, complete series season. rather than. Well, not series, just season one. Season, that's I'm, I'm sure. Sorry. I'm sure it will be continuing on with yes. how successful. It I'm was. sure there's probably already the second season's probably been on this year already. Uh, I don't know if it's been on yet. Actually, I think mm. they're, they're probably smart enough to get it ahead of the curve. Unlike Franklin and Bash, we can help. So, <laughs> so you know, if you're a fan of Adventure Time, let us yes. know because we definitely um, would love to hear from some mm -hmm. fans of the show. Next up, we're going to be talking about Bean Flynn, mm. which is based on a true story, based on the. 2004 memoir of Nick Flynn about essentially a guy who encounters his, a writer who encounters his father who's a con man hmm. and self proclaimed poet. Um, Interesting. Oh, actually, yeah. Um, and sort of having to come to terms with his dad. I don't know, I forget if he's a writer. Oh, he's working in a homeless shelter mm. at the very least. Interesting. Um, but he, huh. he meets his dad who's this weird dude. And essentially that's it. One of the reasons I want to mention it though mm. is it's directed by, let's see, Paul Weitz, I believe, hmm. who was one of the creators or first directors of American Pie. Ah, Circle interesting. Circle of Life, yeah. How strange. Um, but you know, it's got Robert De Niro, Paul Dano, oh, great nice. cast. In terms Paul of... Paul Dano's been on an interesting streak recently. He's a great actor, you know. Yeah, very Ruby talented Sparks guy. coming up as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but in terms of the releases, the DVD, kind of underwhelming. Basically, mm. the entire DVD is the heart of being Flint behind the scenes featurette. And that's it. All right. Unless well. you're a really hardcore Paul White's fan. Yeah. Or a uh, really hardcore Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. really hardcore Paul Dano. I might skip it. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't seem that hard interesting. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, you could probably just download it off iTunes and get the same as yeah. essential. Pick it up at Redbox some yeah. evening. I mean, it's, it's not really that worthwhile. But you nevertheless, you know, kind of an interesting concept. I mm -hmm. like, I like true stories, especially ones that are based on people who experience the mm -hmm. stuff. So Nick mm -hmm. Flynn is writing about the life of mm -hmm. Nick Flynn. So <laughs> feel like it's probably fairly accurate. Or fairly, there, yeah. there, Spencer. May we. Is that know, what happens when you start talking about autobiographies? Do you get a little French? Yes, I do. Okay. I do get a little French. I'll note, note this away. Yes. Uh, the final one I wanted to talk about is Margaret from director mm. Kenneth Lager, was it Lunger, Lagerand? Lung, Lunergrand? Try and pronounce it. Lonergan? Lonergan. Lonergan. Sure. Kenneth Lonergan. Uh, this is the story of a girl who witnesses a car accident and sort of has to deal with the aftermath of it, how mm. she feels about it, the implications it has upon people, you know, like the bus driver. Gotcha. Is relationship. this the one with the Anna Paquin? Yes, it is. Okay. It's got Matt Damon, got Mark Ruffalo. It's got mm. a great cast. Wow. Um, and this is Kenneth Lonergan mm -hmm. is the guy who his only other directorial film was You Can Count on Me, which was nominated for Academy Awards and gotcha. whatnot. So it's hmm. been almost a de over a decade, I think 11 wow. years since that film came out. So it's been a long time building up to this. The DVD release of this is kind of interesting and kind of not so interesting at the same hmm. time. In terms of additional features, yeah. it's bare bones, nothing there. Ugh. The one thing that it does have is the director's cut of the film. Okay. Which is 36 minutes longer Whoa. than the theatrical cut. Wow. And the theatrical a Ridley Scott there. Well, Mr. the theatrical cut, I believe it was Fox. Uh, yeah, Fox Searchlight mandated mm. that it be uh, under 150, 150 minutes. And he was under by like 20 seconds or something <laughs> like that. So this is really how wow. he wanted the film to be. Okay. So, you know, I don't know. If I'm really enthusiastic about a three-hour film. A three-hour yeah. film. But nevertheless, I do appreciate that this is really, yeah. you know... At least the though. studio was very aggressive mm, and forced mm -hmm. him to cut it down. So this is the yeah. film you want to be. So if you enjoyed the first version, I suggest giving this one a try. Exactly. Or at the very least, coming to Scarecrow and renting it if you're mm -hmm. curious about the film. Because definitely. this is definitely one of those instances where the studio really interfered yeah. with the release of the film. Yeah, so. which is always kind of a shame. You always kind of wonder, like... How much that would affect a movie's success if it was totally if the original version came totally. out, you know. So uh, check that out and uh, let us know your thoughts at MacGuffinPodcast.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you can always uh, stay tuned for our next episode where we talk about 20th Century Fox Animation Branch yeah. in honor of the release of Ice Age Continental Drift. Things are drifting continentally, <laughs> like we're on water or something. Uh, 
And uh, give us your feedback at MacGuffinPodcast.com, mm-hmm. Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast. Coming Cha-cha. at you. Phone number, 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes, Miro, Blip, uh, Roku. Roku. Good memory. Check in. Get glue. Please do. And we'll see you next time. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to bite the side of the Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.